What's up guys? So today I'm going to be sharing with you a pixie haircut. It's going to be half cut wet and half cut dry. Uh, I'm going to show you guys multiple different techniques. So um, stay tuned. You're going to love it. Uh, let's get started. So the sectioning, pretty simple. Uh, we start off by parting the hair on the right hand side of the head, uh, side parting. And then I really just work from that crown, kind of mid crown area down to behind the ear, uh, creating a diagonal forward parting. And that's going to be the back section uh, that we start cutting. So we're going to start by working diagonal back partings. Um, this is going to be a little more condensed and it's not fully condensed cutting, but um, the way that I go about the back here is really to just to get it to the length that I want it to be. And then I'll fine tune it uh, with a little bit of scissor over comb work at the very end. So just notice that my consistency here is focused on the elevation uh, and also the shape. So I'm working the round of the head with my finger angle and I'm also scooping underneath the section, bringing it up to the parting that I'm taking and that uh, ensures the consistency with the elevation throughout the cut. And again, we're going to be working scissor over comb work to fine tune it at the end. So the last thing in this section that I want you to notice is that my elevation will slowly drop as I get to the crown just to build up a little extra weight in that crown area. So now we're going to do the same thing on the left hand side, work our way all the way up the head, uh, and then we'll start our scissor over comb. All right, so now we're gonna work scissor over comb, uh, just really blending those lines together. So we worked the round of the head all the way through the back. You can see it's pretty consistent, uh, the lines that we created, but really just to make it look nice, perfect, seamless, uh, in the back we do that scissor over comb. Okay, so now we've finished the back. That is the wet portion of this cut. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna blow dry, uh, kind of smooth out the hair. I'm going to be using the Dyson air wrap uh, with the brush attachment. Uh, pair that with Paul Mitchell quick slip uh, for a nice soft hold and style. Uh, and then we're going to go in and do a ton of dry cutting to finish this uh, look. So the beginning part of this cut, we use the FSC Precision Elite Scissor 5 inch uh, matte black series. Um, now we're going to go in with the Hybrid Elite um, this is a 6.15 inch scissor. Uh, it's not super long, but it's long enough to really get that blade in there when you're cutting dry hair. Uh, it's a dry cutting scissor, but it also has a precision tip. So if we go back to that clip that I just showed you guys, uh, check it out. It's got a sliding area in the blade, and then there's a precision cutting area, which you're going to see me using in this point cut technique right here. So notice the angle uh, as I'm working through it. Uh, the elevation is nice and high. What that's going to do is it's going to cut the shortest point up towards the top uh, parietal ridge area. And then the longest point will be right around that temple. Then what I do is I go in and I utilize the sliding advantage of the hybrid elite scissor. And I just slide through and carve out exactly what I want that look to be. So when we talk about like disconnection or pushing weight into areas, this is a great example of the fact that I cut the length where I wanted it to be at the top of the section. I pushed maximum weight down towards the temple and then I get to go in and just be creative and utilize the scissor for what it is um, to slide cut and, and do all of that. Now I fine tune it, a little point cutting. Um, this is my favorite part about the Hybrid Elite and why we created it to be this way uh, because sometimes you have a, a dry cutting scissor and you want to go in um, and do that kind of point cutting and slide cutting, but then you really need precision at some points as well. And you'd kind of have to go back to your other scissor to do that, to get the grip on the hair. So now we've got a slide cutting scissor that also has grip at the tip. All right, so one of the final techniques we're gonna do in this is we're gonna work on the fringe. And this is a really cool technique. We're gonna be using um, a couple different scissors. Um, one's texturizing and one is blending. We got our texture elite uh, and also our blend 20 elite. Both take out 20% of the hair. They just do it a little bit different. Um, one has a reverse blade. So we're gonna use the blend 20 elite right now. You can see that I'm just pulling the hair over above the eye. Um, this is a great way to take out some weight on a fringe, but keep the line that we're working with horizontally. Uh, you can see how nice and light it creates, kind of an airy fringe there. And then I go through and slide. The blend doesn't create any hard lines in the hair. So uh, as I go through it, no, we're not really creating texture. We're creating uh, softness to it. Uh, I'm using the air wrap just to add a little flip to that fringe. Um, it helps that the hair is nice and light after that. And then I'm going to finish it off with Paul Mitchell uh, spray wax, a nice medium hold, 
we'll spray that in and then just run our hands into it, add a little more texture to the style. I love how it kind of um, really just showcases all the texture and different things that we built up in this haircut. Uh, you can see the precision look in the back and then the texture that falls into the front. Love this look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, check out all the scissors that we have to offer on freesaloneducation.com. Uh, I know there's one for you. We even have a scissor quiz on there if you want to check that out. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment, please. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.